I'm going to log into this application and if you have just connected this uh, application and if you don't have account you can go to create account option here and create new account and login that's not a problem so I'm going to I already have the account so I'm going to log in here so because okay now I have successfully logged in now you can see I have my full name here my email and phone number and it says the email is not verified so I don't want to verify this because this email is not real so I can't do that actually but the thing I want to do here is I want to change the profile so in case uh, in this video we are just changing the image but uh, if you want me to create next video where I'll update the full name email and the phone number as well so let me know in the comment below okay so let's change the profile oh let me click on change profile now it's going to ask me to select the app that will open the gallery so I have photos installed here that that's why it is asking me this but if you don't have any other application it might not ask you and directly send you to the gallery it's really depend on the application that you have installed on your phone so I'm going to click on gallery and after that it's going to display the, all the images that I have so I'm going to select one of the images okay so this is the image that I want to uh, select so you can see it is displaying here so let me change some other image so I'm gonna select this one yeah now the next part is to upload this image to the Firebase storage now to upload the image to the Firebase storage we need to connect our application to the Firebase storage so to do that I need to go to the Firebase here so this is the Firebase assistant that is comes with the Android studio in the tools and Firebase now here I have connected this fire store like you can see it says connected okay and I have already connected the authentication as well in the previous videos so I'm going to connect the storage now so click on this now I can connect this cloud storage to my application so I'm gonna click on this it's going to give me some dependencies I'm going to accept the changes and once the gradle sync is finished I'll be able to use the storage here okay the gradle is finished now gradle sync is finished now let me go to the main activity here okay now inside this I can call the upload I can upload the image to the um, firebase but before doing that I want to have the reference of firebase so I'm gonna go here and create the storage reference okay so storage reference and I'm gonna initialize this storage reference with firebase storage so just after this I already have Firebase Fire Store, but I don't need that. I need Firebase Storage. So I'm going to use the storage reference. And here I can use Firebase Storage dot get instance and dot get reference. All right, because we are getting the reference of the uh, Firebase Storage. So this means that we can use this storage reference to upload the image to our firebase storage all right now i can use this storage reference to upload the image as i said now let me go back here into the um prof uh, on, on click listener here now uh, here actually on activity result now i'm going to create one more method called upload image to firebase all right so i don't have this uh, method right now so i'm going to create it so here now inside this I want to write the logic to upload the image to Firebase storage so upload image to Firebase storage all right okay now to upload the image we are we need few things the first thing we need is storage reference which we already have now and second thing is the URI of the content and third thing is the file name all right so content of the URI we can get from here so since we have this image URI I can pass that image URI from here and take this image URI as a parameter here so image okay let me remove that okay so now I can use this image URI to upload the image now to be able to upload the image to Firebase we need to have the we need to create the child reference to the file that is going to be present in the Firebase okay so to do that I'm going to create new variable called uh, I'm going to create new storage reference variable here storage reference and I'm uh, gonna call it as 
file reference okay now using the storage reference we already have i can get the child and inside this i need to pass the file name generally we'll pro add the file name such as profile.jpg okay now i'm going to use this file reference and we'll have the special method called put file we have other method as well but to be able to, uh, we can uh, use this put file to upload the image using the uri and uri if you remember is the reference to the image that is present in our gallery okay so i'm going to pass the image uri now i'm going to add, attach some event listener the, to keep track of the event that is going to happen after this put file method is called so new on success listener that means if the image is uh, uploaded successfully will this method will be called and I'm going to display some message called image uploaded. Okay. And we can also add the failure listener. And of course, this method is called when the image is not uploaded into the Firebase storage. Okay. And inside this, I'll display some message toast. Just say failed. Okay what this code should do is it should upload the image that i have uh, selected from the gallery so let me run this application and check if it's going to work or not so we'll find out okay guys the app crashed and there is reason why okay so to be able to fix this crash we need to actually enable the firebase storage and we need to create the and we need to set the rules uh typically so let's go to the browser and open the firebase console okay so this is the app that i have connected my application with and now i'm going to enable the storage so click on this storage here and after that it will give us the option to create the storage for us so click on get started and now here it says uh, we need to set the rules and here it is setting that allow read and write if requested auth equals to null so here in our case, we already have the Firebase email authentication implemented in our application. So this should be uh, this rule should be absolutely fine for us. But if you are not using the Firebase authentication and want, still want to upload the images, then you can just remove this, this much line, okay, from here, uh, from the next part or from the rules. So I'll show you that later. So for now, let's click on next. And now here we need to select the storage location, which is us central which is already selected for me so click on done and once this uh, default bucket is created we'll be able to use the firebase so if you want to change the rules to uh, allow read and write to everyone without having the authentication you can click on rules here and it will give you the option to change that here you can just remove this line and you can just set allow read and write and you can uh, upload the images without having the authentication but in our case we don't want to do that so i'm just going to discard it because we want the user to be logged in to be able to upload his profile picture all right so that is the basic rule so let's go back to the files here okay now here i'm going to rerun this application and we should be able to use our uh, application and it should not crash but let's see what happens Okay guys, so app crashed again. So I try to debug it and you can see, it says the failed the resolution of some Firebase dependencies, okay? So uh, I think I need to change my Firebase dependencies to lat latest version. So sometimes it happens because of all these dependencies here. So I'm going to change it to the latest version. So uh, you should do that too, because if you have downloaded the same source code, you should change this to the latest version as well. So you can see the latest version, it is giving 21.4.2 and currently I have 17.1.2. So I'm going to change it to 21.4.2 and similarly, I'm going to change dependent dependencies, URL, a version for all of these. Okay, so I have changed all these to the latest uh, version so if you are watching this in the future and you have other different version then you can you can change that too as well okay so i'm gonna sync this now and after syncing this i'm going to run this and it should run fine if not we'll figure it out okay the sync is done 
now I'm going to run this again okay the application is running now it is running now I'm going to change the profile click on it it's going to give me the option to choose the image so I'm going to choose some simple image so click on this now we should be able to see the message if it gets uploaded if not we should be able to see some toast so yeah now it says image is uploaded I'm gonna go to the Firebase console here and click on this file here it's going to refresh this and we should be able to see the profile.jpg image here and if I click on this so it is the same image that I have uploaded from the phone okay now our job is to get the URL of this image and display it that in the image view so let's go ahead and do that so to do that I'm gonna go to the main activity here and inside this once the image is uploaded I'm going to change the or set the image to the image view alright so now to set the image from the image view set the image from the URL of the Firebase storage and to the image view we need to uh, use the Picasso library so here we'll use the Picasso library that will help us to display the image from the URL to the image view so I'm gonna go to the Picasso github okay github.com square slash Picasso I'll leave this link in the description you can go ahead and um, click on this link in the description so I'm gonna scroll down and click copy this implementation dependency URL I'm gonna go to here in project and build at gradle I'm gonna paste it afterwards this sync this project once sync is done we can use Picasso to display the image now the sync is on the background I'm gonna go to the main activity here and here instead of displaying this image uploaded message what I want to do is I'm going to get the download URL of the image so to get the download URL of the image from the Firebase storage I need to use the same reference that I have given here that is file reference so file ref 